Shalom, shalom. Let's drink some of this coconut thing I got at the gas station and talk about the end of the world. Also on a side note, I read this flavor wrong when I looked at it and I was like, oh, make sure you can see that. And I was like, is this like a hex in a bottle? So anyway, chapter four of Revelation starts out with a really peculiar phrase. So John essentially sees the heavens open up and he hears a voice say, my dude, come up here. Let me tell you all the things you need to know. Now that is peculiar to me for a couple of reasons. First of all, in Deuteronomy, God says all the things that his people need to know, they'll know. They have it. He's given it to them. It's here. They don't have to go up to heaven or send somebody up to heaven to get the information for them. They don't have to send somebody across the ocean or the river or the sea to go get it for them. It's not somewhere far away. They already have it. Also, remember a little building called the Tower of Babel and they were building it up to the heavens with the intent of entering heaven and God was like not so much guys and he destroyed it because that's not a place that we're supposed to be now you can make the argument that John went there in spirit not physically he didn't actually he wasn't you know beamed up or teleported or abducted and whoop, up into heaven but there's still some problems with that Imagine there's a pizza place by your house and every single day they deliver a pizza to your house so you never have to go there. And like, yeah, some people do go there, but you specifically don't have to because the pizza is delivered to your house every single day. Now imagine one day the guy who delivers your pizza all the time to you calls you and says, hey, I need you to come down to the shop today so I can talk to you about your pizza. Wouldn't you be like, you want me to come there? But I never have to come there. You always just bring me the pizza. Why would I need to come there to talk about the pizza? I'm literally on the phone with you right now. Can you just tell me on the phone? And they're like, no, sorry, dude. You literally have to come into the restaurant so I can tell you this thing about the pizza. It just doesn't make sense. And I know that we do have other examples of scripture where people go to heaven, like Enoch. And again, there is an argument that Enoch went to heaven and saw all these things in spirit but still goes against the norm it still goes against everything that i know to be true from what scripture before revelation says also i would think that if somebody was going to be up to heaven to be told super important things that everybody's going to need to know moses would be one of them and while he did go up a mountain we don't actually ever hear that he goes to heaven 